In this lecture, we are going to create a filter pipe in Angular which will filter students from the students table based on their gender. So what we want is, here we are displaying a list of students inside this students table. Now before this students table, we want to have a text box. And in that text box, when the user types male, then we only want to display all the male students in this table. And in that text box, if the user type female, then we only want to display the female students from this table. For that, let's go to VS Code. And before this table, let's add an input element of type text. Let's also specify a placeholder here. So let's say search by gender. And let's also set some style here. So let's set the width as 450 pixel and padding maybe top 2 pixel and left 20 pixel. With this, let's save the changes. Let's also close this input element. Now let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. So here we have this search text box. Let's do one more thing. Let's add margin. So let's set margin to top bottom 10 pixel and left right 0 pixel. Save the changes now. Alright, so now it looks good. Let's also set the height and let's set the height to maybe 30 pixel. Okay. Okay, now look now it looks fine. All right. Uh, let me move these attributes in different lines so that it will be more readable. And let's also place this input element inside a div. Let's cut this input element from here. And let's paste it here. All right. Now let's open app component class file. And here let's create a new property and let's call this property filter text. It is going to be of type string and initially let's set its value to empty string. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's bind this filter text property with this input element. So here I'm going to use two way data binding for that. First we use square brackets inside that we specify parenthesis and there we use ng model. And to this ng model, let's assign this filter text property. Now, in order to use this ng model, we also need to import forms module from angular slash forms. Okay, so here we are importing forms module from angular slash forms and then we are using it inside this imports array. All right, so now whatever we will enter inside this text box that will be assigned to this filter text property right now let's go ahead and let's create a filter pipe for that inside this app folder i'm going to create a new file let's call this file filter and since it is going to be a pipe let's use dot pipe and since it is going to be a typescript file the extension is dot ts now you can also create a pipe using angular cli so for that what you can do is you can open a new terminal and here you can type ng generate pipe command and then you can specify the name for the pipe so for example filter and in short you can also write it as ng g g for generate p p for pipe and then name for the pipe okay all right now here I'm not going to use Angular CLI because I have already created this file. So inside this file, let's go ahead and let's create a class. Let's call it filter pipe and let's also export this class. Now, since we want to use this class as a pipe, we also need to implement pipe transform. And in order to use this pipe transform, we need to import it from angular slash go and also since we are implementing this pipe transform interface we also need to implement its transform method 
Now this transform method is going to receive a value. So it is going to receive the student array. So let's call it students and it is going to be of type student array. Okay. And then it is also going to receive a filter text. So the text which the user will enter in the text box and it is going to be of type string. Now inside this transform method, we need to write a logic to filter the students table based on the gender of the student. So here, let's first do a check using if statement. So let's say if the length of this student array, if it is zero, or if the value of this filter text property, if it is empty string, in that case, we want to return this student array as it is. So here, let's simply say return students. So initially, the value of this filter text property is empty string. So initially, when the page will load, we want to display all these students. Now, if the user has entered some value in the text box, and that value should be either male or female. Based on that, we want to return either the male students or female students. Okay. So here, let's use else. And from here, from this student array, we want to filter students based on their gender. So for that, we can use this filter method. To this filter method, we can pass a callback function. For that, let's use this arrow function syntax here. And this filter method is going to, I mean, the callback function of this filter method is going to receive the current element for each iteration. So basically, this filter method will loop over each element of this student array. And for each iteration, it will pass the current element to this callback function. So let's call that parameter student. And then here, let's check if student dot gender and let's also convert it to lower case so that it will be case insensitive if it is equal to the value stored in this filter text parameter okay and on this also let's use to lower case and we also need to return it so let's also use return statement let's move it to a separate line so that it will be more readable Okay, so this filter method will return an array with filtered students, all those students which will satisfy this condition. And we want to return that array from this transform method. So here also, let's use this return keyword. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's register this filter pipe in our app modules. So inside this declaration section, let's register filter pipe. And to use this filter pipe, we also need to import it. And finally, let's use this filter pipe. So first, we also need to decorate this filter pipe class with at pipe decorator. And to this pipe decorator, let's pass this object literal. And here, let's specify a name for the pipe. And let's call this pipe maybe filter okay now let's go ahead and let's use this filter student this filter student pipe here in this app component.html so here we are iterating over this student array so on this student array let's use this filter student pipe now this filter student pipe is also expecting a parameter the value for this filter text parameter so for that, let's pass the value which is stored inside this filter text property. Okay, so whatever value is stored inside this filter text property of this app component class that we are passing as a parameter to this filter student pipe. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And now in this text box, let me type mail. So you will see that now only male students are being displayed in this table. If I type female, then only female students are being displayed in this table. 
So now we are able to filter students based on their gender. Okay. Now remember that Angular team recommends not to use pipes to filter and sort data. This is because a filtering and sorting pipe can significantly impact the performance of the application if not implemented carefully. We will discuss these performance implications and the recommended approach to filter and sort data in our next lecture. And there we will also learn what is pure and impure pipes in Angular.